Yeah, that didn't do too well. I decided to save these plastic containers and use them in my garden. This container had some doggy treats inside. I cut some drainage holes at the bottom. Hey everybody, I'm Nikki. I live for DIY projects, gardening, cooking, and just being my unique self. It's time to party, baby. Meanwhile, my husband and I are raising our daughter and son, both with special needs. And we can't forget to add Delta and Nala, our German shepherds, to the mix of shenanigans. Yes, it's a lot, but I love it. I love them, so it's all worth it. Welcome to my channel, the everyday life of an OCD-ish chick. What I'm doing is I'm gonna be feeding kitchen scraps inside so that as it breaks down, it can go back into the garden to provide nutrients for the soil for current as well as future plants. This is my kitchen compost bin. I'll be adding the kitchen scraps to the containers here. There is a light rain out here in the garden. I'm gonna put on my gloves and add these kitchen scraps. So I've got some orange peels, apple core, cilantro, pineapple, strawberries, tomatoes, some red onion skins. What I forgot to do was to add some drainage holes so that it can receive rainwater. So I will do that later, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just pour a little water on there just to saturate it. I'm gonna screw that lid on and just allow it to break down over time. So as these kitchen scraps slowly break down, all of those nutrients will leach into the soil ultimately providing my soil with some good nutrients for my plants to grow. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here. airplane. Ooh, these mosquitoes. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I need to clear out one of my wild child beds. It's mainly full of mint, which I love. I don't really mind the takeover so much. I like it. And so when I need to remove it, I remove it. Basically, I need some room for my fall collard greens. So it shouldn't really be a lot of work at all with all the rain we just had. Oh, look at the okra, young and tender. Just the way I like it, young and tender. Okay, let's get this bed cleared out because I want collard greens for Thanksgiving dinner, if not sooner. <laughs> Here is the wild child bed. Let me back it up. Back that thing up. There is a tomato plant here that really hasn't done much, so it's time for you to go. Then say it to my face what it's all about Why you're bailing up Think you owe me an apology I still have some collards in here from last year. So it's gotta go. Yeah, but she'll be back. Those roots are so embedded and entangled in this bed. There's no worries in pulling a lot of it out. I'm busting out in a little sweat and these mosquitoes are tearing up my wrist. This time I think I got it. This love was overrated. No more infatuated. And I blame it on you, I blame it on you, yeah. This time it's coming along. In love you shouldn't fake it, no. I'm old enough. So I got this this half cleared out. I'm gonna leave one collard green plant just as a trap plant because it is still summer. I'd rather the pests eat that than anything else. These are my Gerber daisies. They're perennial. They come back every year. And so I'm leaving those. 
Oh, there's another collard there. I'll, I'll leave that for now. But I think this is a good start here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am hot and sweaty. Ooh. Look at that huge pumpkin down there. It is huge. Oh, look at these. I was wondering about my raspberries. They made it in here. And they're super sweet too. Oh, here's another pumpkin. It has taken over my entire second garden here. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Find something you love and have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.